Central Hudson delivers natural gas to homes and businesses throughout the Hudson Valley. Natural gas is a naturally formed mixture of gases, primarily methane, found in rock formations deep below the Earth's surface. It is used to produce heat, to generate electricity, and as a raw material in industrial processes. The drilling process used to extract natural gas depends on its location and the way it is dispersed underground. But how does it get from here to here? After extraction, raw natural gas is transported from the wellhead by pipes called gathering lines to processing plants where contaminants are removed. The result is what travels through pipelines to the end user. Pipeline quality dry natural gas. Central Hudson doesn't produce natural gas, and today, almost all of the natural gas consumed in New York comes from out of the state. We own, operate, and maintain natural gas infrastructure within our service territory between where gas is received and stored and where it is consumed. From the processing plants, large diameter transmission pipes carry highly pressurized gas to a variety of locations, like storage facilities, large volume customers like power plants, and local distribution systems. The pressure which propels natural gas through the transmission pipes is generated by compressor stations along the pipeline. When natural gas reaches a local gas utility, like Central Hudson, it typically passes through a gate station. It is at this point that Central Hudson takes ownership of the gas. At the gate station, the flow rate is measured to determine how much gas the utility is receiving. The pressure is reduced to fall within the safe range established for Central Hudson's pipelines. An odorant called mercaptan is added to the gas. Natural gas is normally odorless and colorless, so adding mercaptan makes it possible to detect in the event of a leak. From the gate station, Natural gas is carried the rest of the way to the customer by distribution lines, which include gas mains often located along roadways. Pipe size and gas pressure generally decrease as the line gets closer to the end user. Gas pressure is reduced by regulator stations. Branching from the distribution lines, service lines connect directly to homes and other buildings. Each customer is equipped with a meter that tracks the volume of gas that passes through. These measurements are used to calculate the customer's bill. Throughout the system, pressure, temperature, and flow rate is monitored by system operators to ensure that natural gas can safely reach and power the equipment that uses it. System operators can remotely control valves and compressor stations in order to adjust flow rates or isolate sections of pipe as required for maintenance or in emergencies. Demand for natural gas fluctuates every day. Factors that affect demand include weather, amount of economic activity, and the availability of other electricity generating resources. Natural gas that isn't immediately consumed is placed in storage facilities underground. Storing a sufficient amount of natural gas is critical to meeting fluctuating demand. By purchasing and storing gas when prices are low, Central Hudson can to some extent protect against price spikes during periods of high demand. Natural gas is a critical component of New York's energy mix. It's an abundant, domestically available fuel that burns cleaner than any other hydrocarbon energy source, typically at a lower price. As New York's environmental laws call for consumers to move away from hydrocarbon fuels and rely more squarely on electricity, the need for resources that can quickly and reliably generate that electricity becomes much greater. However, Renewables like solar and wind are not always available to generate electricity. As a fuel that can be easily stored and called upon to fuel electricity generating stations on demand, natural gas will for the foreseeable future continue to play a key role in powering homes and businesses.